And I'm very pleased to be here with my friend Brian Menal, who is the state representative from the Greater Barnstable area and also incumbent running for re-election. So welcome back to Thank the you. Jefferson Jackson dinner, Brian. Thank you very much. Uh, looking over your initial freshman term, looking back on that, uh, what are you most proud of? What, what are you most proud of your accomplishments or um, areas you were able to champion that you were hoping to get into it when you campaigned first place? Well, first I'd say uh, that I feel tremendously blessed to have the opportunity to do it. I've been um, really uh, sort of overwhelmed uh, just with support and a feeling of community um, mm -hmm. ever since taking office and really be before that. So um, I, I really do feel like uh, this is just such a unique experience and something that I've enjoyed. Um, when I ran before, there weren't a lot of people who thought that I was going to win. And so, you know, I had the luxury of not making um, campaign promises. And mm -hmm. what I did was when people, you know, uh, would invite me in, I would, uh, you know, knock on their door and they'd, they'd say, would you like a, a you know, a cup of tea and I'd say sure and I'd sit down and, and listen and hear what, what they had to say and mm -hmm. one of the things that I heard was that they wanted relief um, in terms of uh, you know if, if they were had a fixed income mm -hmm. in terms of property taxes and uh, people wanted to see more efficiency in our government they um, wanted to make sure that we were on top of EBT fraud mm -hmm. um, people wanted to make sure that we were being um, you know preserving and protecting our environment and so all of those things moving forward when I when I took office I was you know acutely aware that I knew that there were people who cared about these issues like I care about them. And um, and those are some of the things that we've accomplished. You know, we've uh, extended, passed a law to extend um, the time that you repay a assessment for a suitor betterment in Barnstable. So you had 20 years, it's now 30 years. So for folks on fixed incomes, that's something that is um, certainly helpful to them because it, it, it's a more manageable payment. Um, we've taken an unused municipal building here in Hyannis and through special legislation, we're able to transfer that and turn it over to a private developer who is only going to, you know, not only redevelop the property, but keep the historic components of the property mm -hmm. intact. This is the place where, where John F. Kennedy gave his acceptance speech the night that he won the presidency. Um, and there have been other things. You know, I, I, I was helpful with uh, passing an upskirt photography law, which mm -hmm. there was a, a SJC decision that came down and said that it was uh, not illegal to take photos up women's skirts or down their blouses. And so um, really within 24 hours, we were able to help move that along. And there's been a variety of things, you know, from environment to the education, um, you know, funding formula, um, you know, there are a lot of causes that I think that we've made progress on and there's still work to be done. And that's why I'm running for re-election. Looking forward into your uh, the campaign, how is that going so far? It's outstanding. I've had, um, you know, support. yeah, a lot of grassroots support. And, you know, one of the things about being the rep is that over the course of the, of the term, you get to meet a lot of interesting people. And so um, some of that is not political and some of that is political. And uh, I, I just feel, again, you know, like we've been embraced by um, the community here on Cape Cod and, and um, folks who wanted to change and who are excited by, you know, what we're doing up there and and so that's nice too and uh, you know events like uh, the Jefferson Jackson dinner tonight are a great opportunity for us to get together with you know solid Democrats who you know share our values and 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 these are people who are really um, they're just outstanding volunteers and, and good people in the community so mm. it's a fun night you have a lot of friends and supporters here in this room especially we're in your home district right. so that helps an awful lot looking forward to your next term if you're successful uh, what do you see as your biggest challenge or the uh, the the most serious piece of work you'd like to try to ch to take on if you're reelected. There, there are a few things that that I would like to see changed um, in terms of education funding. Uh, that is something that I, I think that we don't get a fair shake here in, in Barnesville. And we're seeing more money um, go up uh, to Boston and, and, and not come back. And so we really just need to change the, the formula funding for Chapter 70. Um, I, I'd like to see that. I think that there is the political will. I know that we're not alone in this. Um, regional school transportation has done uh, some good work, but I think there's still more to be done in terms of just making sure that our school districts aren't burdened with this extra cost just simply because they don't have um, you know, a, a, a unified or single town um, um, school. So, you know, there are a few other things uh, in terms of uh, the economy and jobs and economic development that I'd like to see happen. Um, clearly, you know, continuing on with uh, my environmental mm -hmm. legislation. And also, you know, another thing that I, you know, have been proud of is standing up for animal rights this year. Um, that's something that, you know, I thought, 
you know, at the end of the day, uh, you know, when I've taken votes on, on some tough issues, things like banning a bull hook um, for elephants, where, you know, many of my Democratic colleagues are saying, you know, this doesn't, you know, uh, well, they, they wanted to preserve the way that the law is right now, the status quo, so that they can have circuses in town. And quite frankly, as I, as I give a lot of thought to that, I think to myself, you know, at the end of the day, we need to be um, a little bit more mindful of the fact that um, the entertainment value of an elephant um, should not be born, you know, through, uh, through torture. And, uh, well, you thank know. you very much for taking that kind of a progressive stance on that. It's, it's, it's actually stepping on out there, making some of those tough decisions yeah. that have been a hallmark of your leadership. So hopefully that will continue on forward as you look forward into this next well, term. Thank you. And I, I have to say, it, it's been a, a fantastic first term, and I, and I hope to make it a second. So. We hope so, too. So yeah. we, whatever we can do to help. Thank you, Brian. Thank you very much. Thanks.